It's not a good idea to have a sacrifice on an empty stomach. Who wants a Krabby Patty? <laughs> SpongeBob, was that me formula? Oh, happy day. <laughs> I missed you so much. Where was it? Where'd you find it? Well, Plankton and I built a time machine out of an old photo booth, and then we added... <laughs> it's okay, everyone. The post-apocalypse is almost over. <laughs> he did right, SpongeBob. Eugene, eat my subaquatic air bubbles. Look, Plankton! <gasps> you grabbed the wrong bottle! I'm sorry, Mr. Krabs. That's okay, SpongeBob. You just have to sacrifice the two of you then! Prepare them for the sacrifice! I bring a message from the dawn of time. What is it, Patrick? Run! <laughs> Squidosaurus Rex! <laughs> Plankton, I guess we failed to accomplish our goals. We? But even failure hurts a little less when you do it as a team, right? This is all your fault! <laughs> My fault? You're the one who stole the wrong secret formula. I didn't know there were two bottles. Yeah, of course you didn't, because you got cotton candy for brains. Ooh. No, seriously, he really does. Well, we wouldn't even be in this mess in the first place if you weren't so selfish and evil. I was selfish and evil until you ruined everything with your teamwork. Oh! You take that back! You are the worst teammate ever! <laughs> oh my Neptune, he's mixing garbage and recycling! <laughs> all of you. Savage, fear-ridden, selfish. An entire town of formerly good citizens turned into heartless freaks <laughs> bent on their own self self-critters. Preservation? Yes! We've become alienated from each other, each one an island unto himself, concerned only with ourselves. And in the name of all fishhood, I am not about to let that happen. <laughs> and so... If a sacrifice is needed to restore Bikini Bottom to its former glory, then I am willing to take one for the team! You heard him! Let the sacrifice begin! And I thought my friends were primitive. Go cry, me boy. Everything's gonna be fine. For us. Oh, I'm not crying, Mr. Babs. I smell happy patties. That's right. Keep thinking happy thoughts. Now! <laughs> I smell him too. Okay, SpongeBob, go get it. Wait, you mean we can just take this stuff off? Go find that Krabby Patty. Come on, everybody. I've got some Krabby Patty orders to fill. <laughs> it's coming from over there. the surface. We won't be able to breathe. All right. All secondary characters, come with me. Yeah, I'm with you guys. Go away, Squidward. You're going up there with us. My feet hurt. Patrick, you don't have feet. Oh, what's not fair? You have feet. Sandy has feet. Squidward has feet. Actually, I have four feet. <gasps> it's not about feet. What is it about, Dad? It's about being a team and sticking together no matter what. The only way we're going up there is if some fairy godmother shows up and helps us breathe air. Bubbles! 
SpongeBob. You know this guy? Don't hurt us. We're sorry we got you fired. Hurt you? Why, I traveled back through time to thank you. I've been stuck in that job for eons. I needed a change, but I was too afraid to go for it. Well, Bubbles, I'm glad we could help. Now, it is my turn to help. I can get you safely to the surface. Now! Quick! All of you, get in my mouth! Come on, guys, let's go! There's no way I'm planning into some dolphin's mouth. Yeah, this guy just went to free lunch. Guys, if Bubbles has the courage to quit his dead-end nowhere job and travel back through time to help us, then we need to have the courage to... <laughs> Never thought I'd be eaten by a dolphin. No, if he was eating us, he'd be chewing us up and we'd be going down there. This is what you call riding in style. Not a lot of leg room in here. Well, maybe if you didn't have four feet. Note yourself.